Jeff, I want to ask you, though, right when I get hooked on self-driving cars, you're now going to tell us that this is old news because Airbus is planning on making a flying self-driving car by the end of the year. What's this about? Yeah, I had to read that twice also <laughs> because we can barely kind of get the autonomous cars that are on the ground uh, uh, rocket and rolling. Yeah, there, I think this is kind of just like a headline attention grabber. Uh, to the concept of introducing a self-driving flying car uh, is so foreign and out of control. Think about the entire Department of Transportation. Think about the existing infrastructure. Like, on what planet would this be a feasible sort of thing to do? Uh, I think this is just maybe like a proof of concept that Airbus has been floating around. They claim they have the ability to do this. I don't think uh, I don't think they're not going to make this. I think we might see this at shows like CES or maybe some sort of auto show. But the notion of this entering reality in a way that you and I understand cars or even self-driving cars, I would not hold my breath for something like this. I mean, this. they say they're going to do this by the end of 2017. Uh, yeah. That seems kind of rushed. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna do it, and I'm sure they have some sort of technology. I want to know how loud this car is going to be because every, every time I, fl I mean, I know it's not the same as an airplane, but this is not going to be one of those hybrids that you can barely hear coming down the road. This is going to be something that will disturb people for miles. So good luck, good luck, Airbus. Do, do, do you, do you. Oh man, as always, Jeff Bacalar, I love talking to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Appreciate Likewise, it. thanks, guys.